at Appenog Cove today on um, the time of a, a king tide when there's a full moon and the gravitational pull of the moon is causing these tides to be very, very high, the highest of the year. And right now we can see the water from the cove flowing into the water here on Arnold's Neck Drive. There are actually fish swimming by my feet and I'm standing on paper. These king tides, as they're called, are really useful to help us see what conditions will be in the future. These tides today occur um, a few times a year or associated with storms. What, we, um, what will happen with sea level rise, these tides will occur monthly or in the more distant future, they'll, they could occur daily. So it's very helpful for us to plan for future sea level rise to see what conditions will be in these low-lying areas where uh, flood tide waters are flooding our, our roads, our public parks, residential properties, commercial properties, and, and what are some of the adaptation techniques that we could start to consider today to reduce uh, the threats to public safety as well as trying to restore um, our coastal habitats. Um, so this is a site where we're working with the city of Warwick on trying to determine some alternative access to uh, Appenog Cove. There's there are businesses in the um, distance. Um, there, this is an important access road for um, residential properties for uh, shell fishermen and um, it, the challenge is this is the main route to get to those um, businesses and houses. There are some alternative routes but it's not as convenient for people and we're, we're looking at options. We are standing, um, this road is so low lying that this vegetation, these plants here are actually salt marsh plants. And I am standing right now with this much water at the edge of the road. So as you can see, there's salt marsh plants right at the edge of the road. And the flooding's extended about 10 feet um, inland of the, the edge of the road. This is the cove, this is a road. The challenge with this road is there isn't an option to increase the height of the road because there is a railroad trestle here. This is the Amtrak line, and if they increase the elevation of this road even by a foot, there wouldn't be enough clearance to get boats to and from the marina, which is just to the south of this bridge. So there, there's really very few options to address the flooding of this road other than managing it when it does flood, putting um, appropriate cones um, and warnings for um, vehicles. This morning we've already seen two cars going through and here comes the Amtrak. What if this high tide um, was occurring at night? Uh, tonight we are supposed to have not only um, the same tide height, but we're also, there's also predicted 40 to 50 mile an hour winds. And if this area, this area will flood again, and there's really no clear um, demarcation between edge of road and the cove. And it's a public safety issue, cars could end up not really knowing where the edge of the road is and drive into the cove.